We are given that t follows a normal distribution, and we are supposed to be sketching a graph that represents this distribution. That is why we will be expecting ourselves to be sketching a bell curve. A bell curve that is going to be symmetrical about the mean of the normal distribution, which is 5. So here is 5. And we are supposed to be sketching this for the period that is from 8 a.m. all the way till 8, 10 a.m. And t over here is defined by the question that it is the number of minutes past 8 a.m. Which means that 8 a.m. represents t equal to 0. And 8, 10 a.m. is represented by when t is equal to 10 minutes past 8. So we are supposed to be marking 0 and 10 on the graph. And one thing that we need to be able to realize is that 0 plus 10 divided by 2, which is 10 over 2, is equal to 5, which is the center of this entire bell curve, which means that 0 and 10, they should be the same distance away from the center of the bell curve. Let's say 0 is here, let's say 10 is here, they must be equidistant away from 5. So we can mark 0 and then having a rough distance that is almost the same, we will mark another 10. But to be even more accurate, one extra thing that we can consider doing is to calculate the probability of um, t between 0 to 10. And pressing it into my calculator, like what I've done here, this is equal to 0 0.99997. Okay, this is 0 0.99997. And the bell curve has only one as the area. And the area that is between 0 to 10 is already 0 0.99997, which means that between 0 to 10, we need to expect the bulk of the area that is going to be lying in between these two values. So what we can try do is to shift 0 as close to the end as possible. Let's say here. So here, I'll mark 0. And going for the same distance, 0 to 5, and then 5 to 10, so almost the same distance, let's say here, I'm going to mark a 10. So on my graph, it is symmetrical about 5. 0 to 10, they are the same distance away from 5. And within between 0 to 10, this area here should look like it is taking up about 99.9% .9 of the entire area that is under the bell curve. T is the number of minutes past 8 a.m. And we are going to be working on the number of minutes past 8.06, 8.06 a.m. So for 8.06, this implies that T is going to be equal to 6 minutes. So what we are going to be doing is to try calculate the probability when James leaves later than 8.06, which means that it is when T is bigger than 6. I'm going to press this into the calculator. Let me show you what I will press into the calculator. On my graphing calculator, I will be pressing this with the lower limit as 6 and the upper limit as positive infinity. The mean is 5 and the standard deviation is 1.2. And my calculator will give me this. So my calculator gives me this, which gives me the probability that this question is asking for. So it is 0 0.202. T is given to us as the number of minutes with reference to 8 a.m. before James leaves from home. And then W is going to be the amount of time that James is going to take walking to work, which means that from 8 a.m. in order for James to reach work without being late, he will have 30 minutes because anything that is beyond 8.30, it is going to be considered as late, which means that from here to here, we will take T plus W, because T plus W is going to be the amount of time starting from 8 a.m. to the time when he reached work. So T plus W, which means that to calculate the probability that James is going to be late, we will be calculating for the probability when T plus W is bigger than 30. So let's try to find a distribution for T plus W. T is a normal distribution, W is a normal distribution which means that t plus w is also going to follow a normal distribution since t and w is also given to us as 
independent normal distribution. So let's try to find the expectation, which is going to be the expectation of T plus the expectation of W. So it is going to be equal to 5 plus 21. This is equal to 26. We also need the variance of T plus W. So the variance of T plus W is going to be the variance of T plus the variance of W. And this is 1.2 square plus 3 square. This is equal to 10.44. So these two parameters gives me the possibility to write down the distribution for T plus W and that will follow a normal distribution with a mean of 26 and a variance of 10.44 and this makes it possible for us to calculate this with our calculator letting the lower limit be 30, upper limit be positive infinity, mean is going to be equal to 26 and the standard deviation is going to be square root of 10.44, pressing into the calculator this gives me the probability that the question 1 and that is 0 0.108. In part 4, we are looking at a conditional probability situation. The condition is given to us that James is going to be late for work. And what we are supposed to calculate is the probability when the weather is fine. So this is my conditional probability. We are supposed to be finding the probability when weather is fine given that James is going to be late for work. So in the numerator, we are looking at the probability when the weather is fine and James is going to be late for work. According to the question, for the weather to be fine, it is going to happen 70% of the mornings. So 0 0.7. This is the probability when the weather is fine. And for James to be late for work, according to the question again, when the weather is fine, James is going to be walking to work. And for James to be late when he walks to work in part 3, we have already worked out the probability and that is equal to 0 0.10789. This was from part three. So we will take this divided by the denominator. That is when James is late for work. So this can be the scenario 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.10789. So this is when the weather is fine and then James walked to work and he is late. Or it is also possible that the weather is not fine and according to the question when the weather is not fine James will be driving to work and the probability that James drive to work the amount of time is going to follow a normal distribution one that follows a normal distribution with a mean of 19 and a variance of 6 square so what we need to do now is to find is to form the distribution for t plus d just like the same explanation as part 3 this is going to help us to calculate for the probability when James is going to be late for work when he drives. So we are going to be calculating here as the probability. Here is going to be the probability when James leaves the house plus the amount of time that he spends driving to work is greater than 30. So this is going to be the probability when James is late for work when he drives. So T plus D, let's first find the expectation. So this is going to be the expectation of T plus the expectation of D. And that is 5 plus 19. This is equal to 24. And the variance, the variance of T plus D. This is equal to the variance of T plus the variance of D. This is 1.2 square plus 6 square. And this is equal to 37.44 which can then help us to find to form the distribution for t plus d, which is one that follows a normal distribution since we are doing a linear combination of t and d, and each of them are already a normal distribution. So we form a new normal distribution with a mean of 24 and a variance of 37.44. And what we, what we are supposed to find is the probability that he is late for work when he drives. So it is the probability when t plus d is bigger than 30. This will make sure that James reach after 8.30. Pressing this into the calculator, this is equal to, let's see, this is going to be equal to 0 0.16340 from the calculator. So for here, this is going to be 0 0.16340. This is the probability when James drives to work. So the overall probability that the question wants here is going to be equal to 0 0.606.